What's going on guys? It's James of Got DSM. Here we have Spence of the Spiz channel. Uh, I was asked to do a review on the GI grills, but I don't feel comfortable doing a review on it because I don't wear them. I don't have experience with them, but he has plenty. This is his mask of choice, so we'll let him take over, let him go over the points that he likes and hates with this mask. Spence, by all means. What up guys? So, this is the V-Force Grills. This is the mask I wear 99% of the time, at least when I'm playing. <laughs> um, overall, it's a solid mask. Price range, it's about average. It's about average, it's right in the like middle. $90, limited edition R110 on ANS. Um, lens prices, are a little high depending on what color you get. These are the yellow or amber non-thermal. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're yellow. They're yellow. Um, those go for twenty dollars. The thermal smoke go for twenty-five, thirty dollars, and the thermal mirror go for thirty-eight dollars. So. The dual paint mirror. They're, yeah. they're all supposedly thermal. These have thermal coatings on them. Uh, Anti-fog coatings, but uh, it's not a true dual pane lens. People love it or hate it. Um, they, they don't really fog up, um, but it's, I prefer the dual panel lens better. Um, packaging. Go over the packaging. Comes with a little manual, right? Uh, it's pretty basic. It just goes over how to change the lenses, all like a jazz, change the strap out. The disassembly of the mask, it does come apart in several pieces, which is a good thing. Not many parts to lose with this mask, which is also nice. And it comes in this gigantic mask bag. Feels not, like crap. Yeah, not the best of quality. It's pretty shitty. It, it feels like paper. It doesn't feel like a fabric bag at all. It feels really, really cheap, really weird. But I'm sure it'll do its job of keeping your mask relatively safe. It, it will do a good job keeping your mask clean. As for protecting your lens, I'm, I don't use it, but <laughs> I, I don't think it would do a good job because the quality of these lenses are not great. The durability of them sucks, straight up. They, you get one hit, one cheap bag rubbing against it, <laughs> and they scratch very easily for a, on average, $30 lens that you have to buy once every three months. It's just... It's garbage. Yeah. It's hot garbage. Uh, what else come with it? It's like a chin strap? Chin strap. Detachable chin strap. That's pretty cool. Nobody else does this. The clips are in here. Those don't remove... Well, they do if you take out the V-Force logo, but they're there. They don't get in their oh, way. Oh, okay. Interesting. I like that. Yeah. What else? These little foam ears? Yeah. They clip in right here okay. along the strap to give extra comfort. I feel like it adds a little too much pressure on the side of my head. Let's see what happens. Doesn't, you don't really need it. it doesn't, you don't feel the strap. If you're wearing a beanie or a headband, you get your protection right there. Fair enough. And the visor, it looks like. Yep. What are these? O-rings? Those... These look like securing O-rings. It looks like it slides into the top, and these O-rings go around. Yeah. It, uh, this beveled edge here, and secures the visor down. Yeah. It's clever. That's cool that they give you the rings, and they give you an extra ring in case you lose one. I like that. It's an odd-shaped visor, though. It's very flat. Yeah. I mean, it's very, very flat. The mask protects a decent amount of your forehead as it is. That's sure. for a little a extra little protection if you need it. I've never used it, as you see. It's <laughs> still got the O-rings yes. on, so... <laughs> but it's there if you want it. I mean, as long as you wear a beanie or a headband to just protect this part of your forehead, you'll be fine. I like it. It looks good. The bottoms are flimsy. They're flexy. Yeah. The front, it's soft but not too soft, so that's good. It will hold up. You'll get bounces off it more often than not. 
um, but still it's hard enough where you feel protected. The sides are a little softer for if you're holding up your gun, your tank's up against your face, it'll just bend in a little bit, not shift your mask around. How's the lens changing in it? Lens changing is very easy compared to a lot of masks. You got clips inside, okay. just squeeze it, and I don't know if you can see that, and pull out. You never pull out. <laughs> I never pull out, except when I'm taking my mask apart. Okay. Then you just push right here, and it lifts this up, and that just slides out. As James was saying, there's few pieces, but they're big enough where you really shouldn't lose it. You could, but you can always put in this giant bag and <laughs> it'll be okay. Um, yeah, this, it's a very simple mask to take apart. You're not beating up your thumbs trying to squeeze a lens into a frame like the i3s. Uh, nice. Take like a cheap shot of <laughs> the i3s, huh? Well, what are the Flexes? E flexes, yeah. Not E flexes, oh, just flex flexes. sevens. Yeah. I don't own those because my thumbs can't handle it. And then, oh well, for the lens removal, you just squeeze on each side and it just pops right out. That's not bad. No. See, these are the dual panel lenses that are $30. Uh, yeah, and then you can that just was quick. pop your other one in if you wanted. Make sure the ends go in. Make sure the ends go in. <laughs> and then you just pop these back on. If you want to change the foam, it has this little locking system right here. I personally never change the foam. I've had, well, I've had this mask a year and a half. Yeah. Wear it every weekend. Never change the foam. Soft, holds up great. It looks good too. It's got good shape to it. It looks like it holds your face pretty well. The yeah. bottoms are really bolstered out under your eyes. It looks like it'll grip you pretty good. Yeah, the mask doesn't shift around on your face. It doesn't irritate you. It breathes really well. You don't feel overheated or short of breath. Um, but if for some reason you do need to change the phone, it has this little locking system right here. Just take any coin, turn it to the unlock position, make sure it lines up on the inside. And should just pop right out. It's flexible. Yeah. It's really flexible. That's pretty cool. That's what I was talking about with the bolstered foam under the eyes. It's got really nice shape and on the sides of your head. It's got a lot of foam there to hold it secure against your face. How's the field of view out of it? It's good. I don't feel like so I was any restriction. Here. I don't see the no, mark in the nose at all. I mean, you really, when you're wearing this mask, you don't see much or at all of the mask, which I've had problems with other masks where I'll see the arc of the nose in my view and it throws me off. But or the thermal layer. Yeah, or the thermal layer. That's it's, That was your gripe with the sly, I remember that. Yeah. This one you don't see it. It's actually a really nice lens. It's, it's pretty clear considering there's a few scratches on this lens already. How old is this lens? A few months. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't hold up well. It's at not all. holding up very well, but you know what? I can still see pretty clear through it, even with a fair amount of scratches on it. It's a really narrow lens. It's pretty short. Most lenses now are really, really tall. It, you don't need it with this lens, though. It's, it's yeah. got a solid field of view out of it considering its size. It's really this nice. mask is a uh, low profile mask. It stays close to your face. About, you don't feel like it's hanging off the front, pulling your head down. It doesn't have a huge lens, but it gives you definitely enough field yeah. of vision. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, do you like the ears? Do you like the full hard ears? I do. I don't have any problems with it. I mean, I feel protected. I've been hitting them. No problems whatsoever. No ringing in your ears, nothing like no, that? When you no, it, it's very good coverage. It covers your jawline well, your ears fully covered, chins fully covered. And as I said, the only part that's a little exposed is the front of your forehead right here. Uh, the 
one problem with the lenses, or another problem with the lenses besides that they're expensive and they don't hold up well, <laughs> is they don't have many colors. Okay. You have your smoke lens, you have this the mirrored lenses, which I said are more expensive, and your yellow, or as they call it, amber. It's and clear. Yellow. They have and clear, clear. Right? Okay. Um, for the mirror and smoke, I believe you are, your options are black, blue, and gold. And I wish they had a true amber lens. With this one, I used it last weekend. And playing woods ball, everything is just pure yellow. <laughs> It the trees were yellow? It disorients you. I had trouble walking in it. Playing speedball with the sun out, I was blinded and I couldn't see anything. So, highly recommend... <laughs> yeah. I, I recommend not getting this lens. Okay, fair enough. If they had the amber or HD like the dyes have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The HD lenses by Dye and Proto are second to none. They're mm -hmm. really just the perfect, perfect medium. It's really nice. nice. Flex have them. So, uh, the old Events e flex lenses, that solid amber lens, old JTs used to have them too. They were really, really hard to find. And that was a really nice lens too. It was a like really solid medium. Um, we both had them for a while. They just disorient you a little bit when you take the mask off. If you have that lens on for like 10, 15 minutes and you take your mask off, I couldn't see the color blue for like 20 minutes. Kind of scared me that you mentioned that. <laughs> Alright, so don't get that one either. Yeah, it was, it was pretty though. Um, How's it breathe? It breathes fine. I've never, as I said earlier, I've never felt claustrophobic, overheated, short of breath. I mean, obviously, you get a little hot, but that's going to happen in any mask. Yeah. yeah. It's light. This mask is really light. Yeah, it it doesn't affect your game of play at all. It doesn't. You don't feel the weight of the mask on your head. It's short. It's really short. How is it to clean? It looks really easy to clean. It is. Uh, as you see, there's not many parts to it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's it. it. Uh, basically, the material holds up really well also. There's times with other, other masks I clean after every play. This one, I don't clean that often. I once went two months without cleaning it. It had paints in the crevices along the sides and all over where areas that you couldn't get were just wiping with a microfiber. I just put it in the sink, sprayed it with my gloss and it all came right off. And it it holds up well. That's right. There's really no stains on this mask. You used it yesterday? Did you clean it from no. yesterday? No. It's still a nice, like, clean white. I can't believe it. That's wild, because it is a soft material. I, I figured this would stain really easy, but I've seen his mask covered in paint for weeks, and it's still crispy white. Yeah, and animal. And he says, <laughs> I can't believe you didn't clean your mask. Yep. But, uh, I clean my white stuff immediately. And that's the reason I don't wear my other white mask, because they stain, stain. But this, it holds up great. It feels really nice, actually. It's really light. It's sharp. Would you recommend it? I would. Yeah. I'd say this mask is, I'd say it's a solid eight and a half to nine. Great. Compared, high. Yeah, well, you, well, you guys really, really like this I'm thing. also, I'm a little biased. It's my favorite mask. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's true. Um, I Just between taking it apart and putting it back together takes 30 seconds, okay. not including cleaning. True. Where there's other masks that take a lot longer, um, like the Proto-Axis. Yep. I believe you have a review on that. Now. Yep. I believe it takes like half an hour. Yep. <laughs> That's why I don't wear my Proto-Axis anymore. Um, change the lenses really fast. Very few pieces to lose. Not to hate on the Proto-Axis because it is a good mask. I like it, but yeah. it has screws. Yeah. Lots a lot. Of, lot of screws. And yeah, so... My only complaint is the lenses. I wish they had more colors. I wish they held up better. I wish they weren't as expensive. And maybe a few more color options for the mask. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
There's a ton! They do limited editions of this mask frequently. I remember the Purple Haze, I remember the... Yeah, they uh, have the Nightmare Collection. The Nightmares. Ryan had the, the GI... I forgot the name of it. The like, G, there was the GI limited edition, then there was the GI sponsored mask. With the big ass GI logo on the jawline. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you want more colors in this mask. Yeah. That's intense. More more standard colors. Okay. I like the limited editions. But you like clean? I like clean. I wish there was a few other options out there. Because I believe on ANS there's maybe like six or seven. What other masks have you had just to compare this to? Why why this is your favorite? Um I had a pair of or I have a pair of E Flexes, right? Yeah. Um those No, you have vents, right? No, vents, yes. E vents. I have E vents, those stick out too far on my face. And they're also black and white and stain very easily, so that's why I don't wear them. Um I, they feel heavy and just like they're pulling my head down. Great. I have my proto axis, which is a little smaller than this. I don't feel like I have enough protection around my jawline and ears. Um, I do have the vents on my ref mask. Yeah. Yeah. You have the vents. You have a. The f no. You have a the flex. Yeah. yeah. You have a JT old school flex seven. Yeah. Those same thing. Feel like it sticks out too far on my face. I know people like them because they can breathe better. And you have the skulls. Yeah. yeah, I got my skulls. Just don't wear those. Old school skulls, not not the the game face skull, like old old school or save, save face, face skull. Or, it's got you have what game Diablo. faces, right? I have save face. Oh no, they're Diablo, I believe. Yeah. And Diablo skulls. They're yeah. badass. They're all white. But, yeah, uh, I don't wear those because the lenses are ten years old. <laughs> <laughs> I got but hit in pretty. the lens once and my whole face was echoing in the like that. So, yeah. yeah. I've, I've gone through my share of masks. I've had the Sly Profits. Same thing. They're just too heavy and bulky on my face. And I like these. They're small, light, low profile. It's, I feel like they're kind of like I-4s, just bigger. Yeah. I'll go with that. Different shaped lens. Yeah. Poor quality lens, but but it, it's small, close to your face. It brings it in close yeah. on your jaw. I'll, I'll give them that. You so know. you've you've been wearing this like every weekend for a solid year, year yeah. and a half, right? So he knows what he's talking about. He's done his due diligence with this mask. Gone through many lenses on this mask. Yeah. So there you go, eight and a half, nine, right? Yeah. Hope this helps you guys. Thank you very much, Spiz. No problem. <laughs> uh, subscribe us. Yes. Hope you like all that good jazz. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Later, guys. Yeah. Thank you.